Toyota Motor Corporation has unveiled a humanoid robot that can play the violin alongside a group of musical robots. The height of the new Android is 1.52 meters, and it weighs 56 kilograms. Its speed of movement is up to 3 to 4 kilometers per hour. The robot musician is capable of extracting sounds from such an instrument as the violin excellently. It does so skillfully that it effortlessly plays the popular Japanese melody, Pomp and Circumstance by the English composer Edward Elgar and all thanks to its 16 joints, which allow the robot's mechanical hands to virtuosically handle the violin. According to representatives of Toyota, this musician can be used in medical institutions and nursing homes for the elderly for entertainment purposes. Work on the hardware and software of the robot lasted for three years, and it seems that the work has indeed turned out to be of high quality. At least, the robot plays the violin perfectly. The violin is just an advertisement of the android's capabilities. According to engineers, the main purpose of the robot is to care for the elderly and sick people, household chores, childcare, and medical assistance. The musician is not yet ready to wield frying pans or hang a picture on the wall, but its creators say they intend to further work on the flexibility and dexterity of the humanoid machine so that it can use a variety of manual tools. Another development by the Japanese company Toyota is a robot that excels at cooking. The culinary talents of the Motoman SDA-10 robot are demonstrated using two mechanical arms, each equipped with seven joints, attached to a torso with a height of 135 centimeters and a total weight of 220 kilograms. Thus, despite the lack of legs, the robot works excellently with its hands, mixing ingredients for pancakes in a bowl and carefully placing the prepared dough on a hot plate. Afterward, it smooths the dough with a spatula, giving the pancakes a perfectly round shape. Equally skillful, the robot flips these pancakes on the skillet, frying them on both sides. Then the Motoman SDA-10 places the okonomiyaki on a plate and asks the customer about their preferred sauces and seasonings. Unfortunately, it is not reliably known how edible the pancakes prepared by the robot turn out to be. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, a rather funny incident occurred in Japan. Due to restrictions imposed by the illness, the baseball team of the Japanese conglomerate SoftBank replaced spectators in the stands with humanoid robots Pepper. To make the robots resemble real fans more, they were dressed in SoftBank Hawks team merchandise. Like many countries experiencing outbreaks of the coronavirus, Japan was forced to postpone the season of the local baseball league. Players were only able to take the field after the state of emergency was lifted. However, access for fans to the stands remained prohibited. The baseball team of the Japanese conglomerate SoftBank addressed the issue of empty stands by seating robots in place of spectators. To make the humanoids resemble real fans more, the team dressed the Pepper robots in t-shirts with the club's logo. The game, attended by the robots, was held at their home field in the Pepe Dome area. Under normal circumstances, this stadium in Fukuoka can accommodate 40,000 spectators. Pepper the Robot is one of SoftBank's most well-known developments. Thanks to HD cameras and distant sensors, the robot can recognize its surroundings and respond to people's emotions. Instead of legs, the humanoid robot has a system of small wheels. Engineers and designers from the University of Tokyo have developed the Jizai Arms robotic backpack, which can accommodate up to six controllable limbs. The device attaches to the torso with several straps, and the hands are made interchangeable. Users can choose between human-like arms or grippers. The backpack weighs quite a bit, 4.1 kilograms without the robotic arms. With them, it weighs up to 14 kilograms. Movements are remotely controlled through a special setup, which is a scaled-down version of the device itself. The length of the robotic arms was chosen so that when extended forward in front of the user, they would be approximately equal in length to the user's own arms. The hands of the robotic arms are detachable, and if necessary, they can be replaced with grips of a different type. Designers also attempted to give the robo-limbs an anatomical resemblance to human arms. Controlling the arms is not as simple as it seems. Sometimes it requires the involvement of several operators simultaneously, and wearing the backpack without their assistance is impossible. This is the main problem that needs to be solved. It is quite possible that in the future, with the development of neuro-interfaces, it will be possible to implement control by thought power, then users could manipulate the robotic arms, similar to controlling their own. If you're interested in table tennis lessons, then the robot developed by specialists from the renowned Japanese company Omron Corporation is exactly what you need. This robot, named Forpheus, possesses such sophisticated teaching skills and capabilities that it has been honored with a prestigious place in the Guinness World Records. The control system of the Forpheus robot uses cameras operating at a speed of 80 frames per second and other motion sensors, enabling the robot to track the movement of the tennis ball, the player's body position, and movements in real time, assisting Forpheus in playing the role of a teacher. 
The robot can also highlight the spot where the tennis ball will hit, indicate the optimal trajectory for the player's racket movement, and much more. Complex software algorithms and an artificial intelligence system allow Forpheus to assess the player's skill level and adjust the lessons accordingly. Japanese scientists from Keio University in Tokyo have created a robotic tail called ARC, designed to assist people with poor balance. The robotail is attached to the wearer's waist with special straps and analyzes the body's position. Equipped with numerous sensors, it detects which way the wearer is leaning and helps them maintain balance. If the person leans left, it turns right, and if forward, the tail rises upward. This counteraction adjusts the center of gravity, aiding in body balance correction. The tail can be used by elderly individuals for additional support and by people working with heavy loads. Its future applications are also envisioned in the entertainment industry, such as in virtual reality-related attractions, where the tail would simulate tactile sensations and the external environment. Panasonic has developed a new exoskeleton called a Tune, designed specifically for healthcare personnel, caregivers for the elderly, and construction workers. According to the company, the new model weighs 4.4 kilograms, which is 40% lighter than the previous version. The weight reduction was achieved by replacing the metallic frame with a polymer one, as well as using more compact motors and batteries. The exoskeleton is attached at the waist and supports the user's lower back when lifting or moving heavy loads. Location sensors accurately track the user's movements in space, while an embedded algorithm predicts their next actions. The motors synchronously duplicate these actions, reducing the strain on the user's muscles. Field trials involving people have confirmed a 40% reduction in load on the lumbar quadriceps and a 10% reduction on the long rib of the chest. The exoskeleton operates on a battery that lasts for four hours, and its dimensions allow it to be used by individuals ranging in height from 150 to 190 centimeters. Currently, exoskeletons are used in construction, logistics centers, factories, and agricultural farms. The Japanese company Honda has unveiled its latest creation, an emotional assistant robot. Dubbed as Empathetic Robot 3EA18, it is designed for interacting with humans, with plans to use it as an assistant robot in places like stores and airports. The robot is capable of recognizing human emotions and responding to them with understandable facial expressions, thereby providing comfortable communication for the human interlocutor. The Japanese have unveiled a quadrupedal riding robot the size of a car. It can walk in various gates and accommodate up to four passengers. Engineers from Sansei Technologies, specializing in the production of amusement rides and stage equipment, have built the quadrupedal walking robot, SR02, with a passenger cabin. The riding robot stands at about 2 meters in height, 1.6 meters in width, and 3.4 meters in length. The robot can walk forward and backward using different gates, rotate in place by 360 degrees, and squat, bending all four legs, to disembark passengers. The control software used is the Azratech VCDO robot control system, which allows onboard personnel or an external operator to control the robot's movements. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in this video impressed you the most. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. See you next time.